What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking about the best free players to sign with the latest update, right? So obviously we have new epics, we have new worldwide players of the week. I'm also going to leave out the match pass players because you obviously have to spend coins. You do get the coins back, I will do a separate video on that. And of course the worldwide as well is more of a kind of a lottery, it's luck based on what you get. Now obviously if you're playing free to play and you spin and you get Cruyff, he's obviously going to be free to play because you're going to be getting him with free coins. But for all intents and purposes, this video is going to be about players that you get 100% for free with very little input and also nominating contract players as well, right? So the first card that we're actually going to go to uh, here is the player of the month in the Turkish league and it's this center back here. He's very, very solid. He's on D rate and so it's not going to be a card that you will definitely want to be playing straight off the rip. But it's a very solid destroyer card, right? He's got everything that you could want with the player skills. He's a good height, good weight, good player motion. And of course, he's going to have the jumping at 90 with a good manager. He's going to have the aggression over 90. He's going to have speed over 80, acceleration over 75. All his defensive stats are pretty sound. And he can play right back and central midfield or center back as well. Very solid. As I said, it's the skills for a four-star card for a nominating contract. We have got, as you can see up here, let me just hide this. We have got five four-star nominating contracts. So that's a player that I definitely would like to see on a B or A rating, depending on when he does get that live update. It's a very solid card, right? There are a couple of others in this player of the month as well, but I think him as the four-star, and I think this guy as the three-star is very nice as well. If you're looking for a fast pacey winger, again on D rating, doesn't have a real face, but he does have double touch and soul control, long range curler and shooting. And he's only a three-star nominating contract. So if you're looking to spend your three-star nominating contracts, them two players there. Otherwise than that, there isn't really... I think the Brazilian league is pretty decent here. Um, Enrique is okay as well as a four-star, but he's got, you know, he doesn't have the pace compared to the other guy with, with nice pace. Um, you also have Moreno here as well, but not with this video where, yes, he's a, an okay anchorman, but we are going to be having that double... Uh, or that DMF position kind of filled so he doesn't have blocker either and we're going to get to that in a second there are one or two in here that you could argue or split hairs about um, but I definitely like William is pretty decent as well he's got some good stats for a three star but I think that attacking midfielder is a position that you can really easily fill now he's got double touch flip flap and soul control with one touch pass it's a very decent card he's only 18 years of age he's on C rating it's a nice card, but again, we're going to get to that in just a second with the attacking midfielder. So there are the two picks that I would have there. As for the J-League, I think that the J-League is quite weak, this selection here. Again, you've got a fairly okay build-up, but I wouldn't really recommend him for a four-star. Um, and they have one or two here as well, including these two three-stars here. This centre-back's not too bad for a three-star, if you're looking to get rid of a three-star. But again, they're not really going to change the dial too much, right? So what we're going to focus on mostly is going to be the Earth Mover if you guys don't know by now, within the match pass, you can get a free five-star nominating contract within the match pass, right? So for here, if you are new to the game, you're obviously going to get a three-star here, a four-star here after playing five matches. You can sign that guy that we talked about, or in fact, any of these guys here, right? But also with this 15 matches played, you're going to be getting a five-star just for the free pack, okay? That means that we'll be able to sign a free five-star nominating contract which in fairness, there are some good picks here, right? Now, I'm actually going to show you a build of these cards as well, right? I'm not just going to show you the cards and say that they're good. We're going to show you the best builds, okay? So first up, we are going to show you Onana. Now, Onana is a pretty decent player. He's got some good stats. Um, and I do think that this guy, he pretty much has everything apart from blocker. The blocker, lack of blocker is a bit of a pity on him. But he has one touch pass, low lofted pass, interception, aerial superiority, and sliding tackle. Of course, you can give him blocker if you want to, but he does have a lot of nice stats, including that speed. The aggression as an anchorman is pretty decent. You don't need him as fast or explosive with the acceleration or balance because he's just going to be sitting in the pocket, right? But this is what he can actually look like with the manager boost on normal form. He's going to have 26 levels, some pretty decent stats. 80 tight possession, low pass and lofted. And then, of course, 85 defensive awareness. Everything else is in the 90s. And then, of course, you do have that speed at 85 as well with a huge physical contact of 90. So he's definitely kind of a pick that I would go for. I think if I was looking to kind of go for that DMF, if you haven't that DMF role sorted, for a five-star, he's quite decent, right? Casemiro, I do like Casemiro. I will be honest, I will do a review on all of these cards as well. Casemiro is pretty decent as well. I mean, he is quite slow, but he's very similar to Onana. And I do like the fact that he has blocker. He plays way above his stats. Um, I do like Casemiro, These, this is his card here, you've got 90 uh, like defensive awareness and tackling, 97 aggression, 75 speed, 70 acceleration, 
91 physical contact, 90 kick and power, 81 type possession with this build here, 4-4-3-7-4-11 with nothing into shooting, obviously. It's a good card, honestly, it's a good card, but I think his lack of levels stopped this card from being a really good uh, choice. So it's either or, I wouldn't buy the two of those. Now, Dan Byrne is also another one that I want to focus on here. I do feel like Dan Byrne is definitely a very underrated player. This is a defensive fullback version of Byrne. And as you can see, he's 201 centimeters. He's a big, big lad. The collar killer. Collar always struggles against him. The lack of skills killed this guy, honestly. That's what really kills this card um, more ways than, than other, right? Than other cards, okay? But it is a solid card. I mean, here with the build, you've got 31 levels. We're using Southgate as the manager here. But you're going to have all his defensive stats pretty decent you know what i mean pretty decent defensive awareness tackling aggression defensive engagement 80 type possession and low pass for a big man is huge his jump is quite poor his header is okay but his speed at 90 with this build is incredible you know it, like to have a car that has got 90 speed 90 aggression and is six foot five or six is huge do you know what i mean so i think that dan Byrne is definitely a very unique card if you're looking for it and especially you can play him as a cb or a right uh, or a left back as well right for Mateta here, we will do a build on him on the other video, but I don't feel as if this card is really that good, lads. It's probably the worst card of the pack. Doesn't have acceleration or balance, and at this stage in the game, you need that. And also, Roma's center forward as well. Uh, he's okay. He's okay. I don't know what I kind of spend, um, you know, the, the training on him for a, for a card that's going to be quite average, right? Now, that's not to say that he won't be able to bang goals in for you. And this is his build here, right? So he's got 90 offensive awareness or attacking awareness. Finishing at 90, 85 header, 85 speed, 84 acceleration, 84 kick and power, and 91 physical contact. Kind of like um, kind of like a mini Ronaldo card. That's basically what he's like. He's not lightning quick, but he's quick enough. He's not super, super, super agile, but he can still be able to get into the area of the pitch that you want him in. But he only has 24 levels, which is a bit of a pity. I've said it once, I'll say it again. They're not giving these free cards as endgame cards anymore. You know, they're being slowly, the power drain has been, is being given to him, okay? But this guy is probably the pick of it, lads, if you're looking for something a little bit different. Look at the size of this beast, man. He's 206 centimeters, and he definitely is somebody that I will probably sign and test out on the stream later. He's just a big monster, man, right? No, he doesn't have that many player skills. That's the biggest issue with this card. There's a lot of work needed for this card. If he was a four-star nominating contract, I think he'd be one of the best that they've ever released because he's just huge. He's just 206, as I said here. He's 31 levels. Apart from his lack of skills, he only has man mark and blocker and area superiority. You'll have to give him heading, interception, um, acrobatic clearance if you want, man marking, slide and tackle, whatever, right? Well, he has man marking, but slide and tackle definitely... But defensively, he's very solid, 92 aggression, 82 speed, 99 physical contact. That's the big uh, trick here. He is literally just going to bully people at the back, right? It, it is simple as that. Now, last but not least, we're also going to look at the free players that they released uh, for the nominating contracts, right? Or not the nominating contracts, sorry, the Spanish highlight pack, right? So we we're going to be getting all four of these by completing the objectives. So it's not a matter of if you get them, it's when, when you do the objectives. The only card I think is worth training up is Mikel Moreno, right? The Arsenal man. Very, very solid card. I definitely think he has a free card. He can be very, very good for you, right? Very nice player skills. Doesn't really commit to being too attacking or too defensive. Kind of reminds me of the old Marcus Llorente card from Atletico Madrid as a box-to-box. -box. Not quite on the level of Valverde, but still a nice card overall. With one into shooting, 11 into passing, six into dribbling. All the builds are over here on the left side of the screen, boys. But this is his build here, man, and this is his stats, right? 90 ball control, 92 low pass, 90 lofted pass, 75 speed. Defense, very solid as well. It's an okay card for free. The only better card than this is the Rodri card. Now, this is a 100 overall Rodri. It's 24 levels. It's not going to be as good as the World Player of the Year, obviously. But you've got all his defensive stats in the 90, 70 speed. And as an anchorman, he pretty much has everything you could want apart from not having blocker, right? They're not going to give us a free Rodri. Honestly, they're not going to give us a free Rodri that is going to equal or compare to the big boy. You know what I mean? They're just not, right? But this Rodri is pretty decent, boys. He, he definitely is somebody that I will try out in my free-to-play squad. Um, and I will, I will kind of show you the card in a little bit more detail later on, right? He's kind of a card that you will be able to develop along with, especially if you're starting off in the game, right? So that's probably five or six players that I would definitely sign. You're going to be getting them for free. You will be signing the nominating contract ones if you're looking for something a little bit different. I will be back later on with another video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and let me know if 
You assigned any of these. Peace.